All right, I'm going to talk about body plots, in particular stability margins. Um, first of all, when you design a control system, it is important to understand its stability or robustness um, with regard to plant perturbations, you know, for example, if your mass of the system can change. Even if you think about electrical systems like resistors, capacitors, they are subject to some uh, um, upper and lower bounds. So you need to see how you are away from uh, making your system instability with respect to plant changes. For this reason, we look at body plots, in particular stability margins. All right, I would like to talk about this closed loop system. T of S is your loop transfer function or forward loop transfer function. C is the input, Y is the output, and you have this unity feedback configuration. Then corresponding uh, closed loop system from Y to C will have this closed loop system transfer function, T of S divided by one plus T of S, right? And basically you can find closed loop poles by solving the denominator of your closed loop system by setting one plus T of S equals to zero or T of S being minus one. Um, as this being said, if you have a different block diagram configuration, you would like to make arrangements once you write the closed loop system in this form, you can still use one plus T of S for the following discussion. All right, so let's look at this T of S equals to minus one. Now, if you think about frequency response, right, magnitude of this transfer function T of S, magnitude of left must equal to magnitude of right, so magnitude of minus one, absolute value of minus one is one. So this transfer function's magnitude is one. If you convert this to decibels uh, that we use, uh, this logarithmic scale and decibels to sketch uh, body plots, then 20 log 10 of T of S equals to 20 log 10 of one. And we know log 10 of one is zero, so we have zero decibels. So magnitude of one uh, or in decibels one means zero decibels and angle of this transfer function once again left must be equal to the angle of right angle of minus one is minus 180 degrees so looking at this closed up system let's see what happens if the gain of t of s is one or zero decibels right this is one and at the same time the angle of t of s is minus 180 degrees this means one minus 180 degrees, your system is subject to kind of positive feedback. So you have one minus T of S here and T of S magnitude is one. So you have then T of S being minus one. So you have one plus minus one zero. So let's look at pictorially on the body plot. You have some T of S. We are looking at the magnitude plot of the uh, body. So V here hit for some frequency zero decibels, which equals to one. And at the same time, we are hitting minus 180 degrees. Then at this point, your T of S is minus one, meaning that your closed loop system is T of S divided by one plus T of S one minus one so t of s divided by zero infinity so this implies instability so this is basically your closed loop system breaks and this is how we basically assess um, instability now gain and phase margins of course when you make a closed loop system right you select uh, closed loop poles to be on the left out plane stable so your, uh, when you design the control algorithm, your uh, closed-up system may not be uh, unstable, of course, right? You stabilize the system. But we use the zero decibel or one on, and one on minus 180 degrees to assess how our system close to instability. In other words, gain margin is a metric that captures how close the closed-up system to instability. So we look at closeness to zero decibels. I am going to illustrate this in, uh, in an example in the following part of the video. Similar to gain margin, the phase margin is a metric that captures how close the closed loop system to instability. In other words, closeness of the angle of the transfer function to minus 180 degrees. Once again, we, we are gonna check closeness of the gain margin to zero decibels and closeness of the angle 
phase margin to 100 minus 180 degrees. This brings us to the basic stability criterion for body plots. If at the phase crossover frequency, I'm going to show where the phase crossover frequency in the next slide. If at the phase crossover frequency, the corresponding gain of T of S is less than zero decibel, then the closed-up system is stable. Okay, and then basically we're going to look at for this, we're going to calculate the gain margin and phase margin, which will give us an indication um, of the stability of the closed-up system. All right, let's jump to an example. We are looking at this um, closed-up system. Let's have this loop transfer function or forward loop transfer function to be 1 divided by s to the power of 3 plus 6 s to the power of 2 plus 4 s. Let's look at this MATLAB uh, generated body diagram of T of S. Once again, we are sketching the body of T of S, not the closed loop system, right? Because we are going to look at how close T of S to the um, zero decibel and min minus 180 decibels. Why? The motivation is here. We are ba basically looking at the T of S, not the closed loop system, which in turn, this will give us an indication of how, you know, uh, if you look at here, this will affect the denominator. Basically, if T of S is close to minus 1, this will give us uh, stability um, and margins with regard to closed loop system. So we only sketch T of S. All right, so we are sketching the body plot of the T of S, this blue line here. Now I am marking 0 decibel line and minus 180 degrees line. Now we first look at how close we are to the um, zero decibels basically zero at zero decibels we are looking at this plot uh, basically when the magnitude plot hits zero decibels we call this frequency as the gain crossover frequency in this case 0.24 radians per second and then we calculate the phase margin we have a 70 degree of phase margin basically we are 70 degrees away from the minus 180 degree uh, angle and now likewise we are looking at where the phase plot hits minus 180 degrees here at two radians per second we call this frequency as the phase crossover frequency and basically we are below the zero decibel line by 25 decibels so we say that zero 25 decibels we have gain margin so how we interpret this first of all stability now, if you look at basic stability criterion, we, at the crossover frequency, the gain of T of S must be less than zero decibels. Now, looking at here, at the phase crossover frequency, our loop gain T of S is under the, it is under the zero decibel line, so the closed-up system is indeed stable by the basic stability criterion for body plots. I call it basic. Please take a look at the notes um, uh, that goes uh, with this video on the, com you know, on the explanation section. And once the system is stable, then we basically calculate gain and phase margins as well. We are 25 decibels below this line, so my gain margin is 25 decibels. And likewise, phase margin, we are 70 degrees away from the one, minus 180, so we call this as the phase margin. Now, this is in decibels gain margin. You, by using this logarithmic to standard conversion formula, you can calculate the gain. Basically, if you solve this equation, 20 log 10 of x equals to, uh, equals to 25 decibels, x is 18. This means that if you go to here, this loop transfer function, if you multiply this from he here, let's say, by 18, then your system uh, will be uh, close to instability. So you can increase this gain by 18. And this is kind of an important metric, right? So at this location, we usually have actuators. So sometimes actuators get amplified or um, and uh, different things can happen like reducing its effectiveness or increasing its effectiveness so this is a pretty nice gain margin right you can increase this gain by 18 and let's say you know from you nothing will happen to the system of course if you exceed 18 then this close-up system becomes unstable 
Now, phase margin is a nice metric for linear uh, systems, but I often, instead of phase margin, personally, this is my personal opinion, instead of using phase margin, I usually would like to calculate delay margin, right? Uh, delay margin uh, is uh, more important to me from two, two points. First of all, phase margin does not extend to nonlinear systems, right, if we deal with nonlinear systems, but delay margin does. So it is kind of more universal as compared to phase margin. And delay margin also practically is when you apply a control signal, your control signal may not be able to go to the system instantaneously. There is some delay. You know, you can talk about an, at ex extreme cases, teleoperation systems, or you are sending a signal to the space and receiving back. So delay at the plant input kind of uh, more meaningful to me, of course, uh, it also holds for nonlinear systems, as I mentioned. How you calculate the delay margin is basically take the phase margin, in this case 70 degrees, and divide it by gain crossover frequency, which is 0.24 in this case, convert it, do the conversion uh, pi over 180. So basically, you are going to get 5.1 seconds for this example. So your system, you can say, has a 25 decibels or 18 gain margin, 70 degrees of phase margin, or 5.1 seconds of delay margin. All right, so let's look at this response of the system. Okay, I am on the uh, basically right, I am simulating the closed loop system subject to a unit step command or constant command C of T being one. And this system basically acts like this, right? So now this is the nominal response. Now in the second one, at this location, I inserted a gain of 17.9. Okay, not 18, because I know at 18 we are going to unstable. So 17.9, as you see, system will about to break down and going to, uh, it will go to instability if I increase the gain here further. This is what we mean by gain margin. So initially it was nice, but once we insert here again 17.9, system is about to break. Likewise, here in this case, I am, in, I am basically inserting a delay of 5.0 seconds, not 5.1, because I know at 5.1 seconds system will break. So five point, if, if you insert a delay of 5.0 seconds here, uh, basically you are lagging the system, you're, then your system will about to break down again. So this is gain margin and phase margin or delay margin kind of, you know, important metrics to understand how your system will break down. All right, last but not least, basically let's look at a new example. We have this closed up system and this is our T of S, 5 divided by S to the power of 3 plus 4S to the power of 2S. Um, I basically get this from MATLAB. Okay, I just draw by hand for this example. You can go to the MATLAB, use the body command, and you are going to get this. All right, basically here, remembering our um, stability criteria, at the phase crossover frequency, when we hit minus 180 degrees, our loop gain, gain of the T of S needs to be less than zero decibels. In this case, it is not, it is above zero decibels. So the close-up system is unstable. All right, I hope this video, uh, I, you will find this video helpful. And if you want more videos about uh, gain phase, delay margins, um, let me know, I will be happy to cover so.